As a paramedic, the most rewarding thing for me is being able to deliver a baby. Since being in the job, I've delivered three babies, two girls and a boy. Sharing the birth of a child with a family is an amazing experience. It's certainly a very challenging job at times. A while back I performed a cricothyroidotomy, which is a surgical insertion of an airway into a patient's throat. It can be very daunting having that life and death responsibility, but when you've trained so long and hard and you get to save someone's life, it's worth it. Treating a patient that's having a heart attack or a child that's having a severe asthma attack, that's a huge responsibility. Your patient can deteriorate quickly. So you've got to rely on your skills, your knowledge and your training. You've got to act swiftly and you've got to act decisively to give your patient the best chance of pulling through. If you want to be a paramedic, you should do it. It's hard work, but it's rewarding. But don't become a paramedic in Victoria. The wages and conditions here aren't sustainable. Victorian paramedics are the lowest paid in Australia, even though we are the highest trained. Our wages are already that far behind other states that we're struggling to pay our bills and a lot of us are considering leaving Victoria. All that Victorian paramedics are seeking is to receive the same wages as paramedics in other states. Come on Premier Napthine, you gave yourself a pay rise. Isn't it time you started paying paramedics fairly?